If you're choosing between buying your domain on GoDaddy or high level, buy it in high level. If you're doing more advanced things, Cloudflare, that's personally where we'll still be doing it. But I won't be surprised if you see us just the convenience factor, having more domains purchased, but definitely for like the business where we used to recommend trying to get the business to transfer over or buy inside of Cloudflare. Now I would say just go straight to high level. Like just go the easy route. It's there. Definitely a simplicity, which is the beauty of this. Do, 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 do. Matt's high level hot takes. Here we go. Uh, we got a spicy one today and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. So this is, you know, for folks that are new to the show, um, we kind of talked through there's so much releasing in the high level just going on in the high level worlds, and I give you my hot take on it. So it's not always the the deepest, most comprehensive dive, but maybe there's some relevant tidbits and insights that are kind of fun for you. So uh, uh, before we dive in, Matt, I do want to say, even if it's not a deep dive in the link in on YouTube or wherever you're watching high level hot takes, Matt does go deep on everything else. So Matt has resources and everything there. So even if we didn't answer your questions on this video, please check out the resources that we've linked. Because yeah. the uh, the depth exists. That's a good point. And actually, I'd love to know if folks want like more in this medium deep dive. You know, I I just listen to the feedback loop, and I'm being told that like, hey, around ten minutes or less than ten minutes is ideal. Well, I can't go super deep in less than ten minutes. And so, I'm just telling you, if you want a deep, yeah, go find, go check out the links, go check out like how to high level dot com. Like, there's so many other places where we go deeper and longer. I did the the workshop with high level that was six hours of depth. So you can find depth if you're looking for it. But today. What we're talking through is a new release, and I'm going to talk you how it fits into, I think, the ecosystem where I think it uh, plays into high levels, bigger goals and objectives there, and how I think it's um, it's a really cool, exciting move. So what it is, is domain purchasing. You can now sell, resell, buy your own domains inside of high level. So on the surface, what does this mean? Like instead of a GoDaddy or a Namecheap or a blah, 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 whatever, you can literally buy domains. Where is this happening? It's in domains, settings in the sub account, domains, the same place where you would like add a domain to your account. You can just buy the domain right there. Some cool things that this opens up. Let's say you've been helping folks more in the starting business side of it or the newer side of business, or they like don't have a website kind of a side of the business. They don't have to go somewhere else, buy it deal with DNS records or anything like that. It just like happens all in one place. Literally, there's no excuses. You get started, just buy a domain. So if you're serving businesses starting, this is one of those foundational things they can do right away. There's no friction. There's no limitation. It like you get into it, you buy it. Um, Timestamp this now. We're in 2024. The price is $11.48 for a .com. You comp that to like other places. I'll say Cloudflare, technically, they, they, um, I'll pick renewal rates. I'd say this is about a dollar markup on the going rate there. And that's high level to everybody else. So is that an unreasonable rate? No. Why did high level release this? As we've talked about before, they are never going to charge per sub account. There's no point. Uh, I mean, there are other people that have done that, but they found their traction, their success in here, not charging per sub account. So they find what areas which are considered blade revenue. Here is one of those things. One of your accounts buys a domain, high level makes all of $1 per year. Per year. We're talking like, what are the, like less than 10 cents a month. It's not a huge amount, but all of this adds up over time. It, it, it adds into the space of sticky margin. That cost mm -hmm. high level, I mean, they've got their fixed costs. They, they find the infrastructure to get this going, but it's, it's a dollar. So a dollar per year is what high level is making on the domains here. Um, and with now the opportunity and laying the foundation, if you wanted to charge up more, if you want to say it's $15 or whatever it is, like you can start to tack your own margin on that. But so that's one understanding also hot take about this is like, why did we see this awesome feature come through? Cause high level is going to do more of what is something they can build that they can continue to actually increase their bottom line and top line without getting more customers, if that makes sense. So if you have a hundred customers and all of them bought one domain, high level makes a hundred more dollars. They didn't have to charge you more money as their customer. They didn't have to get another customer like it was already there. And so we're going to see more and more of this, which I don't think is bad. This is, this is part of the ecosystem. It's like looking at Facebook and saying, how did Facebook grow? They found a different way to subsidize the marketplace. I think to myself, Facebook is free. The advertisers are like, Facebook is not free. I pay for advertising, right? And so whenever you can do this 
and find a way to creatively monetize your building process, you've got more longevity. You've got um, typically a better relationship. So for, for high level, for me as an agency, I'm like, this is awesome. You didn't say pay $20 more per month to be able to sell domains. You just said, you can sell domains. Um, so on that level, understanding there, another hot take, I think benefit to this is domains are very sticky. Like we've seen this by other providers. Transferring domains is a pain in the butt. It's just a pain in the butt. And so um, that will be a problem that we will unwrap in the future. But like it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Like like on the surface, some people hear that and they're like, I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. People are like, have you ever tried to transfer all of your photos off of Facebook? Are you upset that Facebook has no quick, you know, uh, download to Google drive function for their photos. It's like, no, why? Like, do you think Facebook couldn't invent that? They could, they don't do it because they're like, this is what keeps you around. There are folks who keep their Facebook account just cause they're like, well, I got all these memories, I got all these photos, extend that to Instagram. Like Meta's sitting there thinking, yeah, sure. There's a wish list of a hundred thousand people who are like, it'd be, it'd be great if I could easily take all of the sticky component. Like if you made it easier for me to leave. That'd be awesome. But Facebook's like, I didn't charge you to come here in the first place. Like, you, you understand? Like, uh, that was part of the exchange is this was easy, not a lot of friction. You didn't pay a premium price for it. But yeah, I'm going to make it hard to leave. Uh, right. And so they're doing the same yeah. thing. This extends as a benefit to you, the agency, where now, oh, yeah, you get someone in there, they're getting started. They're like, buy a domain. Awesome. Down the line, if they're like, I want to leave, you're like, oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Should have thought about that before you bought your domain here. And so you now control that uh, ease of transfer. Here's my hot take here. What I typically tell folks to do is, uh, um, and this is the, this is why you hang out and listen to the show right now. I'm going to give you some, This is top tier consulting, actually, is what you're getting. Um, but in the context of, of a high-level hot take, most of the time, the problem arises because you didn't anticipate separation. Like you didn't anticipate a next phase. And so you just anticipate that. You put that in your terms and conditions and you maybe even make it a known scenario there. Like you can say, ah, oh, there's a migration fee of 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, $1,500, whatever it is. You just bake that into the arrangement to your terms and conditions. Smart. Now you might be thinking like, well, cool, I can do that map, but won't that like make them not want to buy? If like step one, I'm like, You're, you can buy a domain, but if you ever want to leave, it's 500 bucks. They'd be like, maybe I don't want to buy a domain from you. Well, what you do is you contextualize that exit in an ideal scenario for them. So you position it like an, like an outgrowth scenario. Hey, if you ever sell, you get acquired, or there's a dramatic change of event where you need to migrate because you're going enterprise. You've gotten so big, you need to like graduate to the next level. We have a process to facilitate that, and here's the fee for it. So what I'm saying is kind of like a change of scenario, a migration terms. Like if you ever need to migrate, this is what it is. But you just, you lay it out as, as, a, positive. A, as a positive. You're like, yeah. hey, if, if things ever change, like you get, you get super big, you like grow to a hyper growth scenario, you get acquired, you sell the business and you need to make a change. Or and it's like, you know, those three scenarios or something else changes and you need to make a change. We have a way to facilitate for you. Congrats on, you know, we're, we're happy that, you, that, that you've grown to a point where you want to make a change. And um, so for a simple one-time fee, we can help you in that process. And so now it's known terms at the start. It's positioned in a like, congrats, you just sold or you like grew to astronomical heights where now you need to have enterprise level uh, CRM or, or, you know, super sized website hosting because you've got a thousand, you know, 1 million unique visitors per hour or whatever it is, congrats to you. You're in an awesome scenario. And so me charging you a one-time fee of a thousand bucks, you're like, that's great. Like the alternative is you grow to super size and I say, I can't help you anymore. And you're like, God, I'm getting punished because I, I outgrew my provider. And so you, you position in that way where, Hey, if anything changes like positive scenario, positive scenario, positive scenario, we're not going to leave you high and dry. You're going to pay a nominal fee relative to any of those positive scenarios and we'll help you out. And so it sets the expectation up front. And then for some folks, if you're charging, you know, $97 a month and your nominal fee is 10 to like one year of what they were paying you anyways, you're not that unhappy when you're like, ah, oh, you want to leave, you want to transfer. Well, good thing is we plan for this. Mm -hmm. And, and at that point, 
I'm not going to say you're going to have like the happiest customer leaving, but they're leaving for a reason. And right. so, so then it just becomes we're adults. We set expectations at the start and isn't it good that we did this, right? So you think about, it's like prayer, it's like marriage with a prenup. Yeah. And, and there's a, there's some value there of the fact that exiting does have a cost because maybe that cost will encourage a conversation where you actually can save the relationship. And, and, and that's exactly. So it, with a little bit of friction, maybe you can reconcile the relationship. You can restore that relationship or you're, it's at least not as painful for you. I'm saying like be yeah. advanced, be a mature business. I, I yeah. say it all the time. Like for as humans, money's not actually a, the most important thing to us. It's sixth most important at best for the business. That's it. If your business doesn't have cash flow, it is a hobby. And then it is a used to be a business. Like that's, that's what happens there. And so you got to, I think it's completely honorable and respectable to protect the interests of your business. Yep. And um, sometimes that feels like, oh, this, is, this isn't as human. You're like, well, that's fine. The business isn't human. It's not going to survive on, on you know, feelings of positive, warm fuzzies about a relationship. It's like, it's out of cash. It's, it's a hobby. And then it's, and then it's a, yeah. used to be a business. And so, yeah. so the, approach, the, approach the business side with some humanity, but do it with some maturity, right? And have, have systems and, and a process in place already. I think, I think domains is a great feature to have built in. It is really nice when you're building out a new funnel or doing something like that and you want to just get a new domain. You don't have to leave, go, you know, where did you just do it all in the same ecosystem? It's really, really cool. No, it is. It's very, very nice. So from a ease of use, I think it's uh, super cool that it's happening. Um, simplifying a lot of these things. What I, here's, here's, here's my hot take again. I still personally, as an agency um, or as the provider, it's like, Matt, are you using this? Are you doing this? So on the surface, $1 extra premium, not a big deal. So for convenience, maybe it absolutely makes sense. I'm going to just buy it inside of there. It kind of feels cool. It's happening um, in that space. I anticipate like in high levels development, you got skateboard, then you got car, then you got plane. Um, I'm still a huge fan of Cloudflare. So I will still say personally, I'm going to be buying my domains in Cloudflare. They like actually do give it to you at cost in Cloudflare. So they're not trying to like there, you can buy it first year, seven bucks, second year, 10. That's for a dot com, right? It does add an a more advanced options when it comes to DNS management right now, high levels DNS management, I call it on par with like a Namecheap or a GoDaddy. So if you're choosing between buying your domain on GoDaddy or high level, buy it in high level, a thousand percent. If you're doing more advanced things, Cloudflare might, that's personally where we'll still be doing it, but I won't be surprised if you see us just the convenience factor having more domains purchased, but definitely for like the business where we used to recommend like, trying to get the business to transfer over or buy inside of Cloudflare. Now I would say just go straight to high level. Like just go the easy route. It's there. You get the added benefit of some friction in that in, in that future migration process, but definitely a simplicity, which is the beauty of this. Hear me, I'm saying this is super simple, super easy to deploy. I think it perfectly aligns in the future goals of high level. So I'm stoked about that. I think it works really well for the agency. I'm so stoked about that. And and if I was a few like I was going to forecast two or three years from now, I see high level taking those features that we love in Cloudflare and bringing them into high level. Like you better believe they're looking at Cloudflare as the like, what do people love over here? And let me bring that into high level. That's been how they do it all day, every day. And I'm, com I, I am, I'm very confident that they're not thinking it like, Hey, we got our skateboard. And maybe you even say it's like a car. Like this is one of those things where it's like, is there that many advanced things? Like it doing it, you know, GoDaddy's built their entire business on it. If they matched GoDaddy's level and like day one, it's not a super complicated business model. But still, you're like, okay, th this this counts as a car. Um, getting to jet plane, Cloudflare status, that's for sure for the team who did this, that's roadmap on there. I I forecasted a couple of years out, um, but I would not, I would not uh, count high level out from eventually gaining all of our domain business because I really enjoy how they build, how they deploy. Um, and, and actually here's what I'll, 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 I'll call is their feedback loop. They really do listen more so than most businesses out there for the, the company size that they are, they have a phenomenal, do a phenomenal job of listening and building in the direction that people want or need or find beneficial. Cloudflare has never once asked me for input. And even if I emailed them, they're, they're never going to listen to me. So right. from that perspective, I'm super stoked about this. And this is just, you know, one of 
you know, 50 features that got dropped this week, but I think it's a big one. I think it's aligned and hopefully a little bit of a hot take and a, uh, you know, setting expectations, uh, consulting nugget there is helpful for you to put that into practice in your business. And so catch you, stay tuned and we'll catch you on the, the next hot take.